I hope you're not hungry because this is about to be so good. Woo! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and we just got back from a quick trip to LA. And while I was there, I had my first night diving experience. Uh, Max and his buddies took me out to dive for lobster night diving. That was so cool, check it out. So it was a total of six of us diving and they all have experience. I'm good to go, let's do this. And as soon as I jump in the water, this guy Mario already has a lobster. But soon after that, just about two minutes later, I find my first lobster walking on the ocean floor. Check this out. And this species is called spiny lobster. This is what we find in the west coast around LA County all the way down Baja. Unlike the main lobster, these guys don't have any claws, but they do have really spiny shells. There it is, my first lobster catch ever. Small, but... Hell yeah. Me too. <laughs> nice. And that one ended up being a little undersized, so I just let it go. And we're diving in like five feet of water, no more than that. Diving in the open ocean at night, I thought it was going to be kind of scary, you know, a little spooky, but it wasn't really. I didn't feel scared at all, but I did get spooked one time right here when Max points out that's something, and I thought it was a lobster he was pointing at. So I look, and then the shark <laughs> swims right past my face, little guy. Uh, this is called a horn shark. Pretty cool shark. Harmless, though. This right here is literally like two feet of water and I found a lobster right under this rock. So I got him. I was like, wow, this is really shallow. And then I look up out of the water and it's literally like 10 feet from shore. The more I do this, the more I'm amazed at how much we have right on our coastline, just right in our backyard. It's really amazing. And these lobsters are fast. If they start swimming, they're gone. And look at this guy right here. Bam! Ah, oh, missed him. Oh, and my light's dead. It was small, anyways. That was close, though. All right, man. Hey, let's check out your haul. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh. I didn't measure up! What the I heck? Hey, look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, you want the you want the bag to be keepers? Yeah. Alright, first one to keeper. This one's yours, right? <laughs> no, it's too small. Oh, that's too small. There we go. Loaded. Loaded. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, Max, this is our haul right here. Let's see how he did. Let's see it. There we go. Right to the end. <laughs> Alright, keep. 
This one's a keep. Uh, iffy. Iffy. <laughs> All right. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I'm surprised like there's so many at the end of the season too. Well, I can re at the beginning of the season, we wouldn't like I uh -huh. wouldn't have to measure half these. Oh yeah. It would be clear that they're all keepers. Oh, yeah. I see. I'm uh. There we go. Back of the shell. Uh huh. To the middle of the eyes, so like right there. So uh -huh. essentially that, or um, the the kind of the middle of the, the front of the middle V. Okay. So it's like oh, that. right at the V. So this oh, guy's okay. tiny. Yeah, that guy's way under. Three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Six. All right. Hell yeah. And this is that last guy. Oh. Uh, nice. Nice. And now we're back. We just drove back up the day after the dive. Big shout out to Max and his buddies. Man, thank you guys for taking me out. It was so dope. I had such a good time. I want to go back again. And now we're ready to cook this lobster. I'm going to make two different dishes. One for a little appetizer. And the second one, we're going to make lobster ramen as our main course. Let's get to it. So these lobster have been in this whole cooler of ice. Give it a gentle twist, 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 boom. First, we're gonna put these heads right on the grill. All right, I am. We're just gonna take the meat out of them. And this first dish we're doing is a, we're gonna do like a carpaccio style. Oh, let me see if this trick works. If I break the back fin right here. Oh, you see that? The innards, the innards come right out. Right, I'm gonna turn the stove on. Ooh, my new stove. Shout out to Camp Chef for the stove and for the table too. Hooked it up, thank you. I'm gonna make a stock in here, a lobster stock with dashi, all right? Kombu. All right, this is shiitake, dehydrated shiitake mushrooms. And I also have some chili peppers. We'll throw that in there first. This lobster head, throw that in there. Just take it off, directly off the grill and just throw it in. That's gonna make an, just an awesome stock. If you grill it prior to boiling it, it'll bring out so much more flavor. It'll add another dimension to the stock. Got two sticks of butter. I'm just gonna melt this off. This is just salt water. I'm just gonna wash these lobster tails. A little thyme, a little basil, a little chili flakes as well. All right, we got some delicious melted butter. Yeah. Slice that down the middle. Put it all on the plate for now. I'm just gonna keep this in the cooler for now. Butter time. The heat's a little high on this. The heat's a little 
little too high on this. I'm gonna let the coals die down a little more. In the meantime, I'm just gonna put this in the butter. Put these guys just directly in the butter. Yup, and I'll just leave it here. <laughs> Buttery lobster. Well, let's just put this tail, let's just throw it right on the grill. Cause I think we have enough raw ones. I was gonna do this sashimi too, or carpaccio, but we have enough. So I'm gonna just grill that one, top it in the ramen. Woohoohoo! About to have a lobster feast. Good. I got this pack of fresh ramen. You can just get this at the Japanese market or Asian markets. Um, and then they come with some miso too, some soup base. So I'm gonna add that into the lobster stock here. Mix that all up. Oh, that is gonna be so tasty. Keep this broth nice and hot, transfer it back. Got it, Ayu. I'm gonna just dump this. Dump a good amount of this just straight into the bowl. Now I got boiling water here. This only takes maybe a minute. Oh, the broth smells so good. Heck yeah. While that's doing, I'm gonna just slice the lobster tail that I grilled. Oh, look at that beauty. Nice chunky lobster, Woo It's all coming together, baby. So when you cook ramen, if you're cooking fresh ramen, you wanna cook it separately because it's very starchy. If you put it into the soup and cook it, your soup's gonna end up like really slimy. So cook it separately. All right, this is done. Ooh, look at that broth. So beautiful. Top it with the lobster tail. Lobster tail. Oh my goodness. Some green onion. And then the final piece the actual lobster, half a lobster.
There it is. All right, woo, finally done. This looks amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to taste this. Oh, I haven't had a taste so at all. All right, well, I'm gonna start with the carpaccio here. This is raw lobster. Yeah, you can eat lobster raw. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. This is good. Th that is so good. All right, let me try the ramen. Oh, the broth? It's so good. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, wow. Wow. Take a yeah, bite of the yeah, chunk of yeah. lobster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. First piece of lobster tail, or the cooked one at least. Mm. Mm. That's Ooh. soft. It's so soft. All right, let's eat the ramen. Mmm. How's ramen? That's good. I can't get too Noodles much. are perfect. Too much lobster. <laughs> <laughs> this is satisfying my hunger so much. Oh, it's so good. Some leftover broth, so I'm gonna heat this up. Ooh. Keep it warm. Diving for lobster at night was so cool. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be really scared. But it wasn't that bad. Well, I haven't even tried the raw lobster yet. Mm-hmm. Try that. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh, this is so amazing. This is some next level catch and cook right here. My goodness. Lobster carpaccio with lobster ramen. That would be so much in it. Yeah. That would be cost so much in a restaurant. I'm drinking foraging with friends. The perfect beer to drink on Outdoor Chef Life. Mm -hmm. Got that Apocalypse IPA today. Ooh. Here we go, the buttery lobster tail. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I've e ever eaten so much lobster at once. This is great too. I think this is freaking awesome. Do you like the carpaccio? Yeah, I'm just really cold. <laughs> yeah. I right, straight up. Straight up five star meal in the outdoors. Ooh. Ooh, this is good. Mm. Mm. I just took my first bite from in here. Oh, you just took your first bite from that one? Yeah. Buttery. Mm -hmm. mm. The buttery lobster. So flavorful. Oh. Ooh, this might be my favorite outdoor chef like dish yet. Your favorite yet? Yeah, I think so. And the texture of raw lobster is almost... I don't know, it's a squid. A little squid? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, kind of the creaminess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. It has a similar type of creaminess, but it's a little stringy, stringy, unlike, uh, unlike squid. Mm -hmm. It's got more texture. A little more texture, yeah. But it's so good. All right, hot broth coming up. I guess I'll put... I'll put the rest in mine. Huh? <laughs> yeah. In Japan, they don't actually consider this as lobster. It's called iseebi, which is shrimp, which is like, would be a type of shrimp. Just because he doesn't have pinchers? Yeah, I guess so. They, they what? They call them crayfish in Australia. Hmm. But here we call it spiny lobster. Oh, it's gonna be hard to beat this one. A little bit of meat in the eggs. We didn't even use all the lobster. We have <laughs> one more. The other guys that I dove with actually got so much lobster that I went home with six lobsters on my first night dive for lobster. Um, I ended up giving two of them to my brother and I brought four back. We cooked three right now. So we have one again for later. Yeah. <laughs> Jocelyn was too cold so she went back to the car. I guess I just gotta eat it myself. That was absolutely amazing. From the diving to this, oh man, what an experience. That was so cool. 
If you guys like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.